Welcome to News Making Headlines on October 7th. Developments in the Nontaburi bomb explosion are shadowing the escalating baby drama surrounding superstar Freem Ratapum that had made it to the front pages for almost three weeks. Indeed, the Nontaburi explosion has shattered the fragile peace and with a lot of claims making the rounds, the public is more insecure now. One look at the headlines on Thai newspaper front pages and we get the latest developments. Thai Rats main headlines shriek, police chief reviews, red guard bomber blown to smithereens at scene, fire extinguisher, urea fertilizer found, CCTV captures last moments, wife said husband told her to be prepared. Puchatgan shouts, non tabuli bomb linked to four explosions. Red Samai dies grisly death. Wife admits husband crazy over Mel. Here Mel refers to XPF Taksin Chinawat. Thai Post screams, mistake. Bomb went off accidentally killing man. Let's get away from all this terror and step into the entertainment world. Well, enough is enough for Thai Swiss actress Annie Brooks, who is taking prominent red shirt Meti Amon Butikun to court. Annie, you will know, claims superstar film is the father of her baby but refuses to take a DNA test to prove it. Mehdi is the latest person in line to make damaging claims against her, Pujat Khan says, Annie in rage, suing Mehdi. Women's group condemns Big Mouth. Annie admits she socialized with Mehdi but has never had a sexual relationship with him. Tyrat also jumps into the melee, saying, Law Society urges Annie to sue Mehdi for civil and criminal violations. Mehdi claimed on Monday that after a two-month affair 11 years ago, Annie told him she was pregnant, but he insisted it couldn't be because he wore protection. He said he later came to know she had duped him as she was dating other men at the same time. Mehdi said he made the revelation because he felt sorry for Fim as the superstar is in the same situation now. A shocking picture in Thairat from a CCTV clip shows a gunman approaching a 55-year-old physical education teacher at a Preto station and shooting him dead. An inset picture reveals the gunman's face. A headline says, Physical teacher blatantly shot dead. The calm, composed gunman shot the teacher in the head before his friends, then escaped in a car. Police suspect an affair or personal conflict was the motivation for the killing. And here's another grisly murder, Tyrat says. Thieves steal motorcycle, filing 11mm gun, injuring father, killing son. The thieves arrive in a Honda Jazz to steal a motorcycle from an apartment on Ram Inta Road. The father and son who owned the apartment noticed the robbery in progress and came out to stop the thieves. One of them then took out a gun and shot both father and son before driving off with the motorcycle. We don't know whether to laugh at this, but police say a murder committed by thieves is rare. Now let's head to Chiang Mai, shall we? With rather chill winds and cold weather approaching, the province will as usual be bustling with tourists. If you're going there, Here's a new tourist attraction you can visit. Thai Post Excite Cover headline says, Gaat Mueng Pi Throne Open. New attraction in Chiang Mai compares with Pat Mueng Pi in Prae, another northern town. Gaat Mueng Pi is in Chai Prakan district. The local government has spent 12 million baht to construct a 5 km road leading to the site. Seeing these pictures, you can judge why the site has been dubbed Thailand's Grand Canyon. Soil erosion has produced strange chimney-shaped rocks that give the site a unique natural beauty which gives one the impression that it is an alien planet. With today marking the October 7 police crackdown on Yellow Shirt protesters, Pujat Gun runs a headline hitting out at PM opposite Wei Cha Chiwa. It says, Mark takes no action against police whose hands are tainted with blood in the Black October 7 incident. Meanwhile, Rumors have been rife that the Pum Jai Thai party will be kicked out of the coalition. Pujat Gan's headline says, Pum Jai Thai's Hoi or Nevin remains cool and collected against the tiger, confident his party will not be kicked out. 
Now here's a Thairat picture showing girls aged 15 to 18 flocking to join the Miss Teen pageants as the contest opens at Sofitel Hotel. That rounds up this program, folks. Have a great weekend. Bye.